What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Wooteki iFixer in order to repair a device that is no longer powering on or it's stuck in the boot loop and so on. So this program is available over here on the Wooteki website, wooteki.com, iOS system recovery, and it's called iFixer. You can basically use this to fix various problems with the iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, stuff like that. Reset your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch with or without a password, two factory settings, and even one click enter and exit recovery mode for free. That feature is actually completely free. The program itself is available for both Windows and Mac OS, so no problem there. I'm going to show you how to use it on Mac OS, but it's the same on Windows as well. So these are a couple of the problems that this can fix. Device being stuck in recovery mode or on the Apple logo, spinning circle, white screen, black screen. If you were jailbroken, for example, and you managed to boot loop your device and it's no longer powering on, it just shows the Apple logo, you can fix this, although you will lose your jailbreak. Frozen screen, device won't turn on, lagging and so on. So this one actually works with iOS 15 as well. If the update failed or if it won't turn on after the update and stuff like that, stuck on verifying update or stuck on the Apple logo and the progress bar, you name it. You can definitely check this one out. So let's go ahead and use it. I'm going to demonstrate how to use it. So the program looks like this once you get it. There are four options in here, standard mode, advanced mode, reset iDevice and exit and enter recovery mode, which is free. Normally you would want to go with the standard repair because this one may preserve your data. The advanced mode would actually work in many other cases but it will delete all the data on the device so this one is a last resort normally you would go with standard mode here on the reset you would basically be able to reset the device to the status you want and you have standard reset which will reset the device in one click recommended when you can unlock your device but then you also have hard reset factory reset the device to the latest iOS recommended when you forgot the device screen lock password but you will need the Apple ID and password if you have find my iPhone turned on now I want to go with the standard mode over here I connected my device. Right now the device doesn't power on, it's in recovery mode, but the program can still find it and it says in here it's an iPad mini 4 and the latest version available is 15.5. You can select the firmware manually if you have it downloaded, but I don't, so I'm gonna press download and it's going to download the firmware for my particular device right from the Apple server. This can take a couple of minutes depending on how big the firmware is and how good your internet connection is, so just give it some time. I'm gonna be right back once it completes. So as you can see, after download it says verifying the firmware, this ensures that it's not broken or corrupted during the download, but once it's verified and it's okay, the device will start being restored. So I'm gonna be right back once it finishes the verification process. So after the verification is going to extract the firmware, this one takes a while because it's basically a huge zip file, the IPSW that it downloads, and after that you can see it says in here start to fix device. Device model is iPad mini 4, Wi-Fi, and the iOS version will be 15.5. It's important to mention that this will update the iOS version on your device. So I'm going to press start over here and that's it. That's all you have to do. At this point the device will basically do everything by itself connected to the program. So just make sure that you do not disconnect the device from the computer and that's it. Just wait for it to complete. So it says in here please keep your device connected and don't use your device in order to avoid it being bricked. So right now you don't have to touch your computer at all. It's going to automatically restart the device and install the firmware. On my iPad I can see basically the Apple logo and a progress bar so that's basically what's going on right now do keep in mind that with the standard mode we should be able to preserve the applications installed the photos any personal information on the device but with the advanced mode although it works in more cases it will actually erase everything so keep that in mind so you can see it's 50% at this point we're waiting for the uh, iOS version to be installed it should take a few minutes but um, yeah not a lot of time and I'm gonna be right back once it completes so as you can see it says in here the program has successfully fixed your device wait for a short time your device will start soon it's a successful we press done and that's it the device will now reboot and will show the progress bar once again for a couple of minutes because it's going to install a couple of things in the background but after that it will boot normally now if you would want to put your device in recovery mode or exit recovery mode you would basically use this feature over here and it will show like this enter recovery mode or exit recovery mode if your device is already in recovery mode it's as simple as that and this feature is completely free well the device is now boot so I'm going to close the iFixer program and I'm going to show you the device in action. To do that I'm going to use QuickTime which basically allows me to screencast the device to the computer. So I'm going to go with iPad here. 
All right, so you can see now the device is fully working and I do have my applications, including Pentagram and YouTube in there. Going here to settings, I also have iOS 15.5 now. So uh, if I go back in here on the about, you can see it says iOS 15.5. It wouldn't be able to get new updates because I'm not connected to the internet. So you can see even the account, John Smith, is still in there. Every bit of personal information on the device is still in there. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you use Wooteki iFixer. If you want it, you can get it on their official website over here. There is a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS and the one click enter and exit recovery mode is completely free. So definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. I am GF Snow. Till the next time. Peace out.